Hello students. So this is next problem. A pentagonal lamina having edges 25 mm is placed on one of its corners on VP. So the side length of the pentagon is 25 and it is just on corners on VP such that the surface makes an angle 30 degrees with VP. Surface inclination is 30 degrees with respect to VP. That means we are going to keep the lamina on VP. So we shall go for drawing XY line VP, HP then go for sketching, go for an inserted polygon so flat length is 25, number of sides 5, apply relationships click on the sheet so once done I'm going to close this inserted polygon so this should be mirrored multiple copy off and thickness should be 0.5 I'll just move it to the left side as soon as we're going to create it give its diameter so then the projection line should be thin lines 0.13 I'm going to project it make sure the angle is 90 degrees thickness of the top view is 0.5 end it here end it here itself so here A is seen here E is seen but B is not seen here. D is seen. C is not seen. Let's uh, keep those annotations nearer to the top view. So this should be only so then surface inclination makes the degrees with VP. So I'm going to select this line go to move multiple copy multiple copy should be on select this end point paste it right click go to rotate select this end point anyway it is asking for click for the center of rotation and it is asking from from where i need to rotate so from here i need to rotate it so the angle is going to be 30 degrees so upside or downside is downside so as soon as we are going to keep it find whether it is equal to 30 degrees yes then copy these annotations press ctrl drag it okay then we are going to do this projections should be in thin lines start with the letter A let's mirror this multiple copy on then for lines start with the letter A A is still this then go for this make sure end point this is till here this point is till here line thickness 0.5 I know this is point is E, this point make sure it is going to be intersection B and this point is C intersection then this is going to be till here then you can just draw it or else make use of mirror command then copy this annotations B C D E press ctrl drag it let's trim this excess lines make sure that this is not going to be overlapping then the next step is the perpendicular bisector of the edge so this is the perpendicular bisector of this edge passing through this corner rest 45 degrees to hp so here he has given the true inclinations i need to find the apparent inclination so i'm going to give a type this point as m m dash for the true length and m1 dash for the apparent length of the perpendicular bisector this is just an extra annotations now in the previous problem we have seen the hexagonal lamina where the diagonal appears so that means they have given the apparent inclinations with respect to hp that means alpha here what he has given is true inclination with respect to hp is given the theta i need to find the apparent inclination with respect to hp that is alpha here so here initially i'll be taking the true length 
I'm going to take it from this end point. So this should be angle should be 45 degrees. It can be of any length. This thickness should be 0.1. Now I'm going to take the true dist length of this of this perpendicular bisector. Okay. So we are going to give the angle. Okay, as soon as we draw, we are going to give the angle which is inclined 45 degrees. Now I am going to take the true length of the perpendicular bisector of this edge which is passing through the corner. So I will take the dimensions from this point to this point. It is the, I just keep it here for the reference. So this is nothing but the true length of this perpendicular bisector which is equal to 38.47 so I am going to create an arc by center point and select it here 38.47 I will cut an arc this should be in thin lines as soon as we are going to get it I am going to draw locus line which is a third type line I will go for this point this point intersection make sure intersection So I'm just going to draw a line. I just go for extend to next. I'll delete this line. So this thickness should be thin lines. Now I need to find the apparent inclination, which is nothing but the alpha. So I'll go for smart dimensions. So I'll go for a dash to m dash, which is 33.32. To this arc, you're going to get this plus only if you're going to get the center is on otherwise you're not going to find it so from here i'll click it i'll be getting the symbol the radius of this is 33.32 i'll cut an arc so this should be continuous line it should be 0.13 as soon as i cut this arc i will take this pentagon and paste to the alpha angle now i'll go for split go for this and I'm going to split to this point now I select this pentagon A by B, C dash D dash and also this perpendicular bisector go to move multiple copies on select this end point move to this arc and paste it here you got that symbol right click go to rotate multiple copies of I'll select this end point to this point and make sure that you're going to paste it into the intersection point so this arc is a construction line I'll delete it so I'll trim this line can trim, let it be there so I'll go for finding the alpha angle select this line select this line which is equal to 45 always keep the larger angle outside smaller dimensions inside so here I am going to copy this annotations while copying make sure that you are going to copy the right annotation this is B which is towards the right side I cannot keep this here it is to be here so this is C dash this is D dash this is E dash this point is M1 dash and this point is nothing but the true length so this is nothing but M dash so this is nothing but the locus of locus of M line so what we have got is nothing but go for character map symbol alpha select equals 55 degrees select control C click here so if you're not getting it go to text click here control V where the alpha is equals to 55 degrees you're going to close it now I go for sketching go for lines so this point till here 
0.13 move to this point continuous lines now project annotation by annotations so this point is a you are going to project it make sure the angle is 90 this point is b b is still here then c point is still here d point is still here e point is till here so extend this to next then trim the excess line go for lines thickness 0.5 this point is a this point is b c d e and e this is the top view go for text here this is nothing but b b this point is c this point is d and this point is e fit to the screen hope you understood uh, how you are going to be doing solving it in the solid edge have a good day